All right, so now just talking briefly about the modes and the display, which I think often go together. So under the display, you have the fixed notation. So if I do fixed, I can tell on how many decimal places I want to show. So for example, if I want to work in dollars, it's often useful to uh, show two decimal places. Note that I can also change it to fixed, hit two, and then enter. It takes in two digits, but if I hit two, then it knows that I mean two. Okay, scientific notation. That will always show one digit before the decimal point, and then however many I specify after it. So if I do, oh, say four here, and then enter in pi, let's multiply that by one e to the ninth. Then it's gonna show me one decimal place, or one digit before the decimal place, and then you know, it'll show the, the exponent notation. Um, if I divide that by 10, it's gonna still hold to the eighth. Now if I do engineering notation, and let's, all, uh, let's do that four as well. Engineering notation will do multiples of three. So it'll do times 10 to the third, times 10 to the sixth, times 10 to the ninth, uh, times 10 to the minus third, minus six, minus ninth. And that's often very helpful when you're working with things like capacitors or inductors or millimeters. It's all, you know, this would be say 314 megahertz or something like that. So it will always show to a multiple of uh, six. If I multiply that by 10, or a multiple of three, so now it's times 10 to the ninth. And then last mode, or last uh, display is all. So that will show all of the digits that this is capable of. Now one thing to note with any of these so let's say I go to engineering and I typically do three decimal places. If I want to, sh it, the calculator is storing a uh, more accurate number than is actually displayed. And if I want to see the full number, then I can use the function button and hit show. And if I hold it down, then it will keep showing it. Otherwise it'll just show for about a second and then disappear. So. I find it more less cluttered if I just work with a few decimal places and then if I want to see greater accuracy, then I just show it. The last things on here is if you use a radix that is a comma, you can, you can uh, choose that option or a decimal place. I right, go to modes. You have your typical degrees, radians, and grads. And then you have rectangular and polar. So that's more for complex numbers, at least that's what I use it for. So right now it's in rectangular, so if I do 10, enter 5, so now I'm doing 5 plus I10. If I do complex, then it shows me 5 plus, oh sorry, 10 plus I5. <clears throat> If I change that mode to polar, uh, five, and now do the complex, I get five at angle 10, which is different. If I change that mode to rectangular, then I get the rectangular conversion. I could also use the the convert menu to convert that to um, well it still displays in rectangular form but I just converted that to polar anyway there is another row we have the enunciator there that shows us that there's another row here so size we can use that to enter in the size of our registers that's memory that is allocated for our variables and stored stored variables. But I don't want to change the size on that, so I'm going to exit. I can change it to quiet. So right now, for example, if I go to the alpha menu and I try entering a non-alpha or numeric, 
it gives me a beeping noise to let me know that that's not allowed. If I change it to quiet, um, then when I go, it doesn't give me that noise. Alright, I'm going to turn that back on. This is complex result, so if you're doing a calculation and it ends up with a complex number, uh, then it will show the complex number. If you only want real results, then you can choose real, res real results. And these last two are for your custom menu. So right now I have it set to keys, which means I can assign custom keys to my custom menu. So I have my dot product, cross product, unit vector, etc. Or if I change that to local labels, then my custom menu will now show the local labels that I can use for storing and retrieving um, We're using that in my programming, so that, that could be helpful when you're, you're programming. Use those local labels for uh, cutting down on memory space. So, those are the modes and display menus.